Great. The time is now 10 o'clock. I'm going to call the meeting to order. Stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of allegiance, Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, we'll take a roll call of the board members. Um, Lois Burlett. Here. Judy Menard. Here. Pauline Broder. Here. Veronica Bolia. Here. Myself, Zachary Rio. And then our director, Lucia Casey. First, first order of the meeting is approval of minutes from April 19th. And we actually have two. Um, do you want to do a separate or just together? You can do I, them together. Okay. Yeah, I move acceptance of the April 19th minutes. Second. Questions, comments, concerns? All right, hearing none. All those in favor? Aye. So moved. <clears throat> so, don't worry about it. All right, second order is approval of minutes from the Board of Selectmen meeting on May 1st. Can I have a motion? Second. Second. <coughs> Questions, comments? Any opposition? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. So moved. All right, and then we're on to our financial reports. First order of business is a check warrant for April. Can I have a motion to approve? Okay, I'm sorry. So move. Second. Questions or comments? Any opposition? Hearing none. All those in favor? Aye. All right, next we have the MMDT statement. Ending in April 30th, 2023. Um, current balance $28,489.76 with a monthly distribution of $116.81. Um, can I have a motion to file? So move. Any opposition? Questions, comments? Hearing none. All those in favor? Aye. All right. Next, we have the financial statement for March. Can I have a motion to approve? Second. Any questions or comments? Lois, I Lois. Think. Any opposition? Hearing none. All those in favor? Aye. All right, next we have quarterly financial statements from January to March. Can I have a motion? I, actually, it's okay. I'll second it, but it's for the nine months, Zach, not just January to March. Oh, okay. It's for the first three quarters. I was going by the uh, agenda. My fault. <clears throat> All right, I'll correct that. It's for nine month period. It's a nine month period, July 1st, 2022 through um, March. March 31st, 
Can I have a motion? <laughs> I think Pauline made a motion and I seconded it before. Yes. I... Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. All right, any questions? Just a clarification on the front page. It says nine months on this one and then it says nine months on this one. It says nine months. Yep. We... Nine month, is, is that supposed to be on both? Of these, or just one? No, uh, the nine months that's down here isn't on the first one. Doesn't matter. That's just the okay. monthly. I didn't know if it was just that. It was uh, put on both. Okay. Any other questions or comments? Wait. Um, it just if I can say something on the financials, um, Fenton and Ewald. I'm still working with Teresa. Um, the person who did the monthly was somebody who's already employed by them, but they still not have not hired another person or assigned somebody to uh, Westport at this point. So I'm sending everything via um, email to Fenton and Newell. Do they have an estimated date when somebody would be assigned? No, they had um, they had said that they were looking to hire, but I haven't heard if they have, and I'm sure they're training somebody. If they hire somebody, they're going to train them. So. Okay. All right. Um, any opposition? Hearing none. All those in favor? Aye. Next correspondence. Um, we received a letter from the Department of Housing, Community Development, CT, with a letter of PHN 2023-05, Financial Responsibilities of the Board Members. Um, I'm going to need a motion to file. So moved. <clears throat> All right, we have a first and a second. Um, any questions, comments? I did. I think you're also sorry. <laughs> any opposition? Just a question to um, Lucille. Lucille, what did you get from the responsibilities of all of us from that? I mean, if you read it. <laughs> I think that all of you pretty much follow your responsibilities pretty well for a small housing authority. And I think when, when things come from DHCD, they, they encompass everybody. And it's a sum all that doesn't really fit everybody. But I think you guys are pretty financially responsible. I mean, there have been some problems in the past where some executive directors have misused funds and I think again they're trying to clarify yes. and make sure that that's not done. When, when you look at the policies, our policies are dictated by the state not by us individually or do we, because I wasn't too sure how that works now. There are some dictated by the state that are you know just general things for every housing authority that every housing authority deals with. Right. And then policies, the board can develop policies specific to their own housing authority. So I, I don't remember, have we reviewed any policies that are specific to here or anything? Do we have to do that? I don't think there's anything that you've done that isn't already um, in place, I mean, it would be more new policies that are coming. And an example would be in Somerset, we have a planting policy because of where um, the houses are and the apartments are located. And we don't want people planting in the grass or digging out gardens because what happens is when they leave or they pass away, that garden stays there and the next person may not want it. So we have a policy on that, but that's a Somerset policy. So there, those are just policies that are indicative to where 
your housing authority is and where it's situated in what can be done. For example, there's a policy here on not feeding cats, and that's a hard one um, to enforce because people sneak it. Um, it. It's a problem when you have woods around you because it attracts other animals, but nobody seems to see that. They seem to think that, oh, that poor little cat has nothing to eat. Well, if you feed a wild cat, there will be more and more. Well, not only are there going to be more and more, but that cat is going to lose its ability to hunt. So it becomes an issue. So policies that are indicative to, the, to what's going on in your housing authority are actually made up by the housing authority. So, so we have an individual policy book here that's unique to Westport? We have a handbook that's unique to Westport. So it's a handbook, because I, I, I don't remember reviewing policies or something, and you know how they always say, you just take a quick look at them every year or something. I, I was just wondering with all this new stuff if we had to do anything like that. I don't believe so. Okay. All right. Any other questions or comments? Great. Any oppositions? Hearing none. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Next, we have the director's report. <coughs> I have a motion to file. So moved. Any opposition? Questions, comments? Is, is this the apartment that the furniture was left? In the first to? one, yes. Yeah. And we're so did they come and get it? No, we threw it out. It was junk. It wasn't a whole lot of furniture, but there oh, were some okay. pieces. It wasn't a full apartment. So I didn't know if um, we had to store it or anything. You know, that has an expense. No, nope, they were. They were notified a number of times what was no, going to happen to it, it, and nobody came. Nope. They took what they wanted, and that was it. Oh, right. They did come home. They no, took before they took. They took what they wanted, and they left. That's the rest. Oh, okay. But it wasn't a whole lot that they left. So, okay. in fairness, it wasn't. <coughs> it was actually junk that they left. There wasn't anything decent. So that wasn't that bad. Correct. Is that a first or second floor? It's a first. Okay. Can I ask about the Community Preservation Committee? You can. <laughs> um, you know, I was approached uh, before I was even on the board. I haven't heard anything else. And I'm not um, adverse to doing it, but I don't know that much about it. I don't know what the time commitment is. I really don't know what they do. I don't have any information. So how would I go about finding all that out? Before I, before I make a decision, I'd like to know what it entails. Um. Again, this is one that varies from community to community. I think, I don't know about Westport. I can tell you Somerset because I've been involved with that one. Um, in Somerset, it's like before we're coming to town meeting, there's a time frame in which people have to put in their request based on whether it's open space, um, historical or housing. And those applications have to be reviewed by the committee. I don't think, but again, I don't know because Westport has been a long time CPA holder. Um, they were one of the initial communities that got involved with CPA. So they are much more involved than Somerset is in, in theirs. Um, I know they've done a lot of historic renovation here. Um, they probably have had some hand in the building of Nokachoke. Um, they've done other things for the community that we have not got involved in. So it's just a, a matter of I would contact somebody on the committee. Um, 
I can call Stuart Saganor and ask him if there's anything out there for committee members, but I know he's going to tell me to get in touch with your chair. Okay. Which? And it's, re it's required that you have somebody? I'm not quite sure. It is that. required that yeah. there be a housing authority member on the board. And um, I tried to get around that with him. <laughs> Because I know people were, were reluctant to serve, mm. um, but it does have to be a housing authority member at this point in time. And as my statement says, this is not the only community where there's been housing authority members who are reluctant to serve on that um, board. Um, so they're trying to make some changes to it but that won't come until the next legislative year. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Sorry, I can't give you more information. Uh, any additional questions or comments? Haven't gotten to that. There's only, we're limited, but I will try to get the dumpster taken care of because I know summer's coming. I noticed that Harvey truck has been around lately, so that's one that's local there in Providence. But they do service people in this area. And what was it, Harvey? Harvey. I think I gave you the number before, and I can get it again. Yeah, they took over from the, um, what is it? No, BFI. They just took over Harvey, because I have it at my house. They seem to be good. You don't know if they do businesses, um, or they just do residential. No, they do businesses. They do businesses. Okay. I'm pretty sure. I know they do dumpsters because some of my neighbors have dumpsters instead of, you know, like the big cans. I would say they they do regular trash. Yeah. Yeah, and recycling. They do both. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions or comments? All right. Here and none. Um, can I? Move to file. Yep. Aye. All those in favor? Aye. New business. Westport Police Department. <laughs> <laughs> Let's all I'm look at you. Lieutenant Crudo, he asked me to step in. He had something to take care of, but I'm also solving. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet, nice to meet you. you as well. So the question to you is, are you aware of anything that's going on at, at the authority that the police have been involved in that we need to know about? Not of recent. No, nothing that I've been to, nothing that I've seen in the law. Okay. No. Thank you. All right. Moving on, we have um, wage match information that was also... Um, sent to us from DHCD. Um, I need a motion to adopt the wage match program for the tenants. Go over that a little bit with us, okay, Lucia? Um, so wage match is if, and we don't have a lot of them here, but it's if we have people who are actually actively working. Um, they may or may not report that to us so or report it accurately so it's one of the things that we can go and look at and ask that um, their wages actually be known to us so that we can actually do a um, recertification that's appropriate we don't have a lot of people here who do that again that happens in larger housing authorities, but it is important for you to, for the board to adopt it. Um, it has to be adopted at some point because it is a requirement. Does, does so Christy, did I leave anything out that? No, it's, it's new to us too, so there's more information that we have to read about. I was under the impression too that it was basically, uh, because it's Department of Revenue, it's not just wages. Um, it could be anything could be that you're getting. Income, like like an inheritance type thing, um, like if somebody's left that. Or that's like what I was just pension type income and that kind of stuff. So I have to do, once we figure out actually how to use this program, yeah. we'll get more information. But 
um, I think it's basically income driven, so that way people are reporting what they should be reporting, mm -hmm. whether it be wages or yeah, to take income or um, I'm not sure about interest income or any of that. So we'll we'll learn more as it goes. But like you said, it needs to be adopted regardless of. So it's basically <laughs> basically anything that's reported to the DOR by an employer or by whatever that we would have access to, which we may not know. Yeah. So, um, so it's only once a year you reevaluate that on the wage income. Well, we only do research, we only yeah. do research yeah. once a year. So that's when it would be when the person brought all the material? Correct. Okay. If you read through this, I read, this, I read it all. Yeah. Um, basically, it's, like they said, it's to confirm that they're reporting to, they yeah, to the Housing Authority correctly. There is an allowance of a percentage of leeway, but if they're outside that percentage, there are um, basically kind of penalties involved. But the tenants can get in trouble because they're not reporting it properly. So. We have. We will affect different house, housing authorities differently, differently on the type of housing that you have versus family where you have more incomes coming in or elderly disabled mm -hmm. like we have. Yeah. It's probably going to affect those other housing authorities more, but you never know. And it needs to be adopted. The housing notice that we have from 2019. Dash 16 is the same thing. This is just an update of that particular one, correct? correct? That we've already been part of. Okay. But I, I think probably the smaller housing authorities have never signed prior. Okay. But it is a requirement. Correct. Okay. okay. All right, any additional questions or comments? And any opposition for us to adopt this? I think we have a choice. Yeah. <laughs> Hearing none, I do yeah. need a roll call vote for this one. Um, so we can start here on the left. Motion make, made that we adopt public housing notice 2023-03. Do you have a second? Second. Okay. All right. Now I'll have a roll call vote. <laughs> Pauline Broder, aye. Lois Berlatt, aye. Veronica Bullier, aye. Judy Minard, aye. And Zachary Rio, aye. All right. Old business. That's my agenda. Nothing under old business. Um, Pauline just mentioned the dumpsters, so it'll be the dumpster issue. Okay. I need you to sign what you're thinking. If, if I can, um, it's not listed, but the I'm, I'm mixed now on the uh, CPA appointment. I have been giving it consideration, but if Judy is really <laughs> interested in it, I'm I'd be more interested. than willing. <laughs> I'd be more than willing to hold off, but if not, uh, I think it may be something uh, that I would entertain taking on if it's in the purview of the board. Motion for somebody to serve. Okay. And then a second. And then all those in favor. Okay. All right. So. So I can make a motion to appoint. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Veronica, uh, as the CPC person from the board. Second. Second. Okay. Any oppositions? Here and none. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And just so everyone's aware, this is always a difficult position to fill. Mm -hmm. So somebody always acquiesces to it to help the Board of Commissioners, so. I don't think it's a difficult position on their board. I just think it's a d difficult, difficult position to, to have. appoint somebody. It's just a matter of you attending meetings and yeah. you know, doing the research for housing 
you don't know the West Boston CPA. <laughs> 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 okay, thank you. It's not right. difficult. It's just you know, well, right. The position when you're in it <laughs> isn't difficult, but I get what you're saying. Okay. <laughs> the CPC can be difficult. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. All right. Any other old business? All right. Commissioner comments. We'll start over to the left again. Pauline? No. no. Lois, no. Veronica? No, all set. All right. Judy? No. no. All right. Can I just say it's good to have Judy back on the board? Um, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I think she has been committed to housing, so when it goes out to the whole town, sometimes people don't understand, so it's important to have some um, historical perspective. Absolutely. Tenant comments? I do. Uh, I just, uh, I know you had mentioned about handicapped handles being put on our doors. Say that again. The inside doors of our, our apartments. That would be a capital improvement because it has to be done for everybody. Okay. So it would have to come under uh, the CPC, um, not the CPC, but the CIP that we do annually. And I believe it is somewhere in that, but I'm not sure what year it is, Laurie. Okay. Is that something, you, so that's something that has to be done. I mean, is that something you have to do? It's not something that we have to do, but it's recommended for elderly complexes that it be a lever rather than a knob. Okay. And it's going to depend upon the size of the door because it would have to be, it may have to be a special one depending on where the striker is in your door. Okay, it's just wondering, I, I know like with the outside door, it's kind of difficult to use that handle, and that's like the kind, like the handicapped kind. So I was just wondering if it's going to be more of a hindrance. Than it, it doesn't matter if it is or not. DHCD doesn't care if it's a hindrance. They're telling you that okay. it's a better, it's easier for people who have handicaps or who are elderly mm -hmm. that don't have to do the turning because some people have wrist issues and mm -hmm. other arthritic issues mm -hmm. that to push it down is is a lot easier for people oh okay thank you you're welcome of course any additional tenant comments i just have one more about the washers do you know of uh, what and giving us a portion of it, mm -hmm. as well as the washer. We did get a quote on the washer, it's $2,500. Okay. And the way people use the washers around here and don't take care of it, and I'm not speaking to the four of you, yeah. but they are, they're not always used with care, like they're their own. Mm -hmm. So that's an issue for us, because every time it breaks down, it's a good $100 minimal Mm -hmm. because we have to pay um, tran the transportation for that person to come in. Um, it's a minimal of $119 to fix it. Okay. So we're looking at that. Um, I did get a quote, and it was $24.93, I believe. So we're still looking at companies rather than to buying our own. The company would own the machines, okay. which is the difference. It's like what you have in some set. Correct. Yeah, okay. Can I speak a little bit more about that? Because I have all my stuff here. Yay! Yay. So, and like Lucia said, there is, there's different ways to, to do it, whether it be just purchasing another washer, but then we own it, and then it's hard to find somebody who will service it when it's broken. Right. The other piece is when you go to by these different companies, which are all, you know, an hour plus drive for them, but they must do, you know, the state. Yeah. There's different ways to do it, so you can lease the machines where they will take over and do everything and do a portion of 
whatever the money is that they collect. Um, there's different ways to do that, which we need to still talk with Lucia about before we even goes to the next step. Um, the other piece is, just because I found three different companies doesn't mean I want to go with them, depending on what they offer for machinery. Mm -hmm. um, because I do know that we do have um, uh, the Speed Queen washers in Somerset, and those, knock on wood, really give us a problem. Oh. So just because one company might seem like they're good, I don't also want to use them if they're putting in machines that we still have to call every week for a repair. Even if right. they're not paying for it, right. it will just mean that it's going to be repaired more often. Mm -hmm. So we have to weigh out whether or not we're going to receive enough revenue. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. that, that's the other piece too. Or just literally make it a wash where we don't make much, yeah. but we also aren't collecting the money, calling the service all the time, mm -hmm. and that thing, because it's really just a service for the residents. Taking the money to the bank. To be able to use the washers versus sending out their laundry or going to a laundromat. So we try mm -hmm. to keep the cost down. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of things that come into play, which also brings me to you know, we pay for the water, the housing authority pays for the water, and I know that of recently there's been an issue with people wanting all the faucets turned on outside. Um, and we had this discussion last year, the year before, about using personal hoses on the outdoor faucets, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you can use a watering can from inside your house to water your plants, Yeah. but there's been some issue in the past two days or so of people wanting all the outside faucets on. We can't monitor who's going to come in and stop washing their cars or, you know, watering the lawn, even though the lawn doesn't need to be watered and so forth. Like, the, it goes on and on and on. So we historically have never allowed that. But that's for the water to talk. Thank you, Christy. So I know I went off on a tangent, but I don't like to do about the water, too. Yes. <laughs> Christy, where did the Somerset buy those that you were saying runs, they run very well? We use the CSC Service Works, which is the company we've been calling to service these. They're, they're pricey to come and fix these because they don't own them. Um, but we use them in Somerset, and we receive a part, part of the, the commission. It's a but small use, percentage. It's they, not a huge percentage. So we do nothing for them, really. Right. Except for maybe calling because occasionally something is wrong. They use Speed Queen. So the other piece is, I did backtracking, I did talk with Automatic Laundry. Um, they do a lot of housing authorities, but they also have, um, you would need to put uh, a computer in here, a card because they work off of a card system. Oh. So. Yeah, not everybody does coin, which becomes another issue for us because right. then people would have to come, they need to have to have their card filled. So they're putting money into the machine to fill the card or they're coming to the office to fill the card, which, you right. know, we're, we're only here 15 hours. So it's not, and who's going to monitor that machine, you know, that particular, it's another piece of equipment in. And for us with CSC, it's still coin. Mm -hmm. So they have somebody come and collect the coin. I mean, here I collect the coin, I take it to the bank, I run it through the machine, I make the deposit. Um, but, and not that I mind doing that, it's just heavy when I don't do it every month right away. <laughs> but, um, you know, it, it's, I think quarters are easier for the older population. I know that you have to get them and make sure you have them, but I think it's easier for people to use quarters than try to figure out the machine that they're loading the card, um, you know, and, and doing that, because that's... I, I did ask about that because the first thing I thought was that they would have to uh, transfer money from their account over onto this and I said, oh, that's probably not going to work. And he said, no, that's not how it is. They, you would actually come over, which might be more helpful. With a $10 bill? With a $10 bill and just load $10 onto your card through them, which honestly would probably be nice for all the surrounding establishments that are out of points because they go there with $2, 3 $5, and that's for quarters. I mean, you guys have a bank across the street. but um, So there's all these different factors that come in to play with each company. So my next step is to ask what type of machines that they would put in. 
because one I saw was May 10th, and that one, we've dealt with the same appliance person in Somerset for the past 20 years, and he always says the Speed Queen is the best. So even if we don't, you know, if I look at these three companies and only one offers Speed Queen, I, I personally probably choose to go with them, even if it means getting a little bit less, because it's going to be, we're not here all the time, and it would be easier for service on Speed Queen. It, and it's also, excuse me, if they don't charge for service, because even though they own the machines, they may charge us to come down. So, right, so those, are all, those are all things that we need to look at for. Are they the, the same size as what we have now, or do they, are they, are we, we have the same size as what you have in Somerset, like? Um, we have top loaders in Somerset, and. Um, I think only because of space. Right. We don't have the front loaders like you have here. Oh, okay. that also brings me to, there's two washers here, there's two right. dryers, and I know that one of the washers is not working, mm -hmm. and people, tenants seem to complain about that, but there's a lot of time that I think that there's nobody here. So the fact that two or three people show up at one time, mm -hmm. and want multiple machines, it just doesn't work like that. So we have 60 units at one of our complexes in Somerset, and there's still two washers, Two drivers. two drivers and sometimes one of them is out it's not often because it's a speed queen but two washers two drivers should more than suffice for a complex of size and even with one not working currently it should still work because like i was here yesterday there was not a line of people waiting to do laundry i always tell people when i show apartments when they say two washers for 60 units and this is in somerset and i say it always works people find a groove and then they come over Half the time, there's nobody there, or one is just finishing up. So yeah. there is a way. You know, there's plenty of time to get the wash done. Yeah. And and there are people who like to do the wash early in the morning, and there's nobody here. Mm -hmm. um, right. Or people later, it's open. Later night. That's why it's open 24/7, so that you can do the wash at any time of day. Um, also, in just to reiterate what Christy said, we have another housing complex in Somerset that has 75 units, and there are only three washers and three dryers. And that one gets used a lot less because I think people there send their laundry out more. So it really just depends on the people at that time who are living at the Right. Not everybody uses, if I went around and asked, not everybody uses this, this laundry room. Mm -hmm. It may be used by half the people. But until we get this resolved, there is still, I know there's one washer, and it would be nice if people could just figure out, you know, a time. Share it. Share it. It seems like I see Lori every week around the same time. Yeah. They're just going to need to do that, and it's unfortunate if you have to wait a little bit, but... It, again, it's a service that we provide. You don't pay for the water, and it's still cheaper than bringing it to water. We're just, everything takes a little bit. That's all that's working. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, well, I actually, I, I have some, cool. go ahead. No, I was asking Paul. I'm sorry. <laughs> go ahead, Zach. I'll ask it later. I, had, I have some other questions to piggyback off of that. Um, the $2,500 washer, if we purchased it, is that one, that was Speed Queen? Is that what you call it? I'd have to go and look and see what they quoted. Did you write that quote? Did you pull it off? And does that include installation or just the machine? No, they, they come and they install it. Okay. Um, they'll put it in. Take but the then, old one. Delivery and install is included. It's more like twenty-five eighty-five, so close to twenty-six hundred dollars, and it's a Maytag. Okay. But you'd be getting two new washers, right? No. No, that's no. replacing one washer. We already got a new washer a but couple of years company, ago. But the other company would. Serve. If you go with a the company, they come in. It would all be brand new machines. They give you all brand right. new. Right. Those stuff. Oh, those washers and dryers would go bye bye. Right. Okay. Do they remove the old yes. ones? They would not remove the old ones, the broken one. Um, we can probably take to scrap down here. Um, I don't know if it, it, it wouldn't be worth trying to sell the other coin operated because their coin and most everyone is going to the cards. 
they probably, I'm assuming they give you maybe They might give us some dollars for them. Well, yeah. maybe the new company, because I'm sure they have a way to do that. I'm sure they don't just leave them at each place that they contract with. So maybe they give you, you know, something off to remove them and they scrap them or resell them or do whatever they do. But considering we don't have a truck and we can't do all that, it might be, that's a good question to ask. That I I, yeah, to ask. that's, I so I think it'd be better. A couple other questions, just piggyback. Um, so what, I guess it's gonna be dependent on the company that's chosen, right? If we do go with a company and what the percentage would be, mm -hmm. will, will that percentage cover the cost of the electricity and water that's necessary to run them? It's questionable. I don't, I don't think it does in Somerset. Okay. I the think it's- pieces, it's costing the housing authority money if you don't contract because she or whoever is collecting the money, making the deposit, yeah. calling multiple times to get Repair. service. And so it kind of, as long as you break even in my eyes, but it is going to be, it's hard because you don't know what the water charges are. Yeah. And then, so once in a while you do have to increase the cost of the wash or dry. We try not to, but if you do, it's because of the electricity charge and the water charge and all those things. Um, Personally, I don't think it covers it. I think it's it's a service that we provide for residents. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I don't. We're not making money on it. You know, like if I go to the bank and it's been a month and a half and we sh make, I don't know, two hundred dollars and I do two hundred dollars in quarters. We're not making money anyway, really. Correct. So that, that was just my question because I know the time that's spent is a waste of your time that you could be doing other things, so. No, I just like going and playing with the coin machine. <laughs> <laughs> so much <laughs> fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dump them all. No, I go right to the bank. I don't go to the casino. Huh? They don't do they don't even anymore. They don't even the do the money <laughs> anymore. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, I, I mean, I, that, that clarifies a lot. I guess it's, we'll just, wait until we have more information on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to review and see if I can present it again, but that's why I was saying in the process of doing all this, it's not just a quick cut and dry, yeah. you know. Just Which is the same with the dumpsters. They're not, it's not that way. You have to search out the companies and do it. And I know that it's a, the residents have an issue with it, but in the meantime, we're trying to do what's best for the housing authority as well as the residents. Now, to what Stephanie said, oh, no. um, just to comment, just to comment on hobbies, they do across the street behind all the buildings with dentists. I've seen them go behind there, so they do commercial. Um, the other thing is, and I know it's a suggestion, um, I asked about making the area where the washer and dryer is bigger by knocking down a bathroom, and you said you can't. How about getting piggyback dryers to give a little bit of room to put a tiny table to try to fold your clothes on? A piggyback dryer instead of two side by sides? Because if you go to the laundromat, they piggyback. So the other issue that we find in Somerset, mm -hmm. we have two stackable dryers. Oh, you do? Yeah, we have them at each complex. Nine out of ten people are going to use the bottom dryer. And I prefer to use the top because I can't bend. But you do. Historically, I do. They, yeah. they will use the bottom dryer. Yeah. So then the coins get filled up much quicker. And the less amount of time, the least amount of time you want the senior stepping on a step stool to get the clothes yeah. out of the top dryer. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. I'm vertically challenged. And we, I find it very difficult when we, I had the piggyback to get everything out of that top. We You're climbing up on. Yeah. You actually have space there for four minutes yes. across the board. Yeah. So maybe looking for a space out here to just set up a table, maybe in that. These corner. tables are always. I mean, yeah, there's like always that. a table to set out here. here. Yes. Well, I, I, well, I fold them there as I take them out of the dryer and put them in, and just take it back. But I, yeah, I won't. I don't know. I don't use the table. You don't know what's been on the table number one. And, I down the and you certainly the wouldn't know when it's in there, where it's been on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 
it would no. it would be much better to to have non stackables in there. And again, if we were to convert handicapped accessible, mm -hmm. and that's why there used to be a yes. There used to be a table in there. There used to be a counter in there. For those people who have been here long enough who remember there was a counter, we had to take that down because when we did the handicapped departments, there wasn't enough room for a chair, should somebody be in a chair, to use um, that room. Okay. One of these days I've got a good suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any other tenant comments? Did you have something to say? No, I was asking Paul if um, only one was replaced. Would the people be confused? Is it always going to be changed? I know, Chrissy, you mentioned a few other alternatives there and uh, how to pay. If we purchased one It'd be to fine. replace that one, it would still be coin operated. It one. would still. Yeah. Okay. So we'd have one from the other company that we bought from and a new one for both coins. Both. To well, no, it. we wouldn't contract with the company for one coin operated. We would be contracting with a company to come in and replace all four, two washers, two dryers, all brand new. Oh, you're going to do so the whole thing? That they would service yeah. as well. Yeah. If it was a company that was servicing, so a company servicing. that we would contract with, because we're not contracted with any company now. So how much more would it go that, Zach, you just asked about the price? So this is to purchase it, but with one of those companies, they basically give us the machines and in lieu of that and the service that they're providing, we only get a small percentage of the money that comes in from it. So our total cost would be about just under 3000 I think you said. Well, that's to, buy. That's to buy, one. buy a machine, Lois, so machine. that we would keep operating the same way we're doing now. If it's all replaced, so, is there a yeah, startup cost? Yeah, that's the reason doing it. Yeah, we're just saying that three thousand dollar washing machine that would be coin operated. Right. We'll put it in there. And business as usual. Lucia will still collect the coins once yeah. a month and all that. Okay. If we don't purchase the three thousand dollar washing machine, yep. We would contract with the company. They would come in and put four new pieces of equipment in there. Okay. Hopefully, take out the old. Yeah. And then we it would either be coins still where they would come and collect it, or it would be where the tenant puts money onto a card that they hold on to and swipe it and do their wash and dry. So those are two different options. One is purchase outright and business as usual, or contract with the company. They come in and pretty much take care of everything. And no cost. And the housing authority a very small At no cost. It wouldn't yeah. cost us anything. Yeah, it They no would cost. come in and no put, cost. there would be no cost. They would come in and, and replace it. That's, that's, have Done Turn because, to oh, yeah. yeah, especially yeah. a small authority. Yeah, we're not here all the time. You can't expect David to work on washing. That's not some things you can do, mm -hmm. but it would just be easier for their company. Even though occasionally you're still down a washer or down a dryer, you're waiting for them to come in and service. And they come much quicker if they own the machine. The only issue would be yes. The oh, only issue, okay. like Lucia said, is we would need to contract, if, check the contract, yeah. and make sure that they don't charge or if they do they charge a minimal amount to service one of their broken machines at that point but even still with the amount of money that we're paying to service what we own we're not making any money anymore no. because if you go through and you pull out what we've actually had to pay each time some some machine has been broken we're definitely not making money on that so if we're not going to make money why own them? Why not have somebody else own them and it be their problem? Because if they can't fix it, they have to provide you a new machine. They have to. So, so would we, as a board, is it better that we um, support, go with a contract, just to get things moving? Eventually, probably. Yeah, yeah but rather than I, having you see a run with our coins and stuff. I don't know. Well, no, I'm okay with the coins so far. I haven't broken my back yet, but we still need to make sure that all of our information checks out. You, you're given the information where you can make an educated decision. Well, and I have three different companies, so it's not just one company, read through it. We have to compare them to make the decision. It seems, though, that we've been sitting here for three months mm -hmm. with a washing machine down, you know, so. Yes, I isn't one dryer down too? Yes, a dryer down. I, I, I feel bad. I Not know. that I know of. Yeah. But again, there's many, many 
I know that people, I know, they, Chris, the tenants yeah. need to figure out when is a better time for them to come. It's, it's supposed to be a service of convenience. You know, we don't, again, as many times it's not uh, being I'm going to try it myself. But sometimes, <laughs> Shut you know, this off and I... at the same time, Hang up on it. <laughs> it's voicemail oh, that I was and, uh, trying to read. One wash and one dryer is not changing, but it's not. No, I just didn't know. We're not going to do anything to it. Yeah, and the, we can't, do, we can't yeah. do anything about we'll, it now. We can't so do anything until we get a further report. Meeting, so. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You know that started, I believe, Saturday or Sunday when Greg was doing his wash. He dried. He'd come back as normal to get his wash out. It was all wet. And then somebody, got, he didn't put a sign because he didn't know. He said, maybe I put it on permanent grass. But the next person, I guess, that did it, did put a sign because then somebody else went in after that and said, there is a sign. But putting a sign in there doesn't let us know in the office. But now we're not sure. Do we pay a hundred and something dollars just for them to get here to fix it versus just make a decision? Right. Yep. Yeah, if they can only wash one, yeah, wash it. That time, aggravates me. Time. Is the guy who comes to services from Fall River, but he has to charge from mm -hmm. CSC. Right. So. so okay. Well, do you guys think you'll have enough information next meeting for us to make a decision? We should. Okay. We should. I mean, you, if you want to take a motion to have Lucy and I, it's, it's up to you what you want to do. You can wait until the next board meeting or we can just review the information and make a, a, a decision between the two of us. I, I don't, again, I don't know if like the best company is the best company to go for money-wise, like the collection, because just because you're receiving more revenue doesn't mean that you're still not on the back end going to be calling them more if they're using machines that need service all the time. Right. So I think what I'm saying is if we could find a company that provides those speed queens, I don't know if CSC still does, they're probably the better option, even though you might get less revenue from them. I don't well, really no. feel that that matters. I think no. liability no. is the biggest issue. So if in your research you find that you can get those and those are the best, then I don't think we need to worry about the money. Because like no. you said, we all make money. And right. we just That's need that. to get something to replace what's broken, get it fixed so people have Move it. Move on. Yeah. And what's and the most reliable stop with a new company, I think you're probably better off starting fresh. And if they're newer machines, which it could be from that older one, they may be more energy efficient anyway. So you might say well, a little on that. Well, if machines in here, and that just would mean people would come here again more. Maybe they decided to not go because they never know if one's working right. or not. Right. They might be <clears throat> you know, if it's more dependable machinery, then you might actually get more revenue that way. So I don't, yeah. it's it, always probably going to be a wash over. We're going to end up paying out a little bit, but it's still work wise. Hmm. I think it's, we, think do, very, we do very little except for deposit a check in Somerset mm -hmm. for our washers and dryers. I mean, speaking for myself, I don't know about anybody else on the board, but I would defer to your judgment. You're, mm -hmm. You know a lot more about this than we do. Yeah, you're doing yeah. the research, and I think we trust what you come up with. I agree. It really exactly. is a reliability, and you know, the rest of it kind of just falls into I move that we authorize Lucia and Christy to make a decision and move forward and get it done and get these replaced as soon as possible at the best interest of the authority. Good. I second. <clears throat> Any opposition? No. <laughs> All right. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Yep. What is the capacity of the ones we have now, the washers? How many pounds? I have no idea, and I wouldn't be stuck on Speed Queen either. I see the Maytag man on TV sitting like this because he has nothing to do. So I think yeah. get a hold of a company that will provide it, and if they're taking care of them, I could care less what kind it is or whatever. Large capacity, if we can. We're not a laundromat. No, so no, we're not, not going to be doing quilts. Laundromat, and... big volume machines. No. no, listen to me. 
most people industrial. Most people have more than a small load, yeah. and they. I but then they have to do two. Yeah. They break. They do. Yeah. But I was wondering what the capacity of that is. Well, I. Something bigger, if, a little bit bigger. If I could comment, I'll guarantee I could ask all four of you, and I bet you none of you weigh your laundry before you come over to know if it's 12 pounds or 10 pounds. You're going to bring over your. If you get a car this big and it's 12, that's too much. If you get a car and it's. And how much, and how much does it weigh? It doesn't matter. Well, then it doesn't matter on the size well, of the machine. Because that's how they sell them. That's how okay. It's going to be within the contract. Did we did we call a vote? We did. Okay. Yeah. Let's move on. Okay. All right. Yeah. Our next meeting is going to be on June twenty first, twenty twenty three, ten a.m. Um, and I need a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye.